forward. This is a book about slugs, just in case the title wasn't clear. I am world famous for my love of slugs, my army of slugs and my appetite for slugs. Slugs are magnificent creatures and in this book you'll get to discover why, as well as meet some of my most notable slugs. If you've read Elias Zappel's Rhymes from the Cabbage Patch, then you'll be familiar with some of my slugs already. If you haven't, then you shall be slimed. So, enter the world of slugs and enjoy. Fun and stickiness guaranteed. Steve the Slug Steve the Slug is perhaps the most famous of my slugs. He was my best mate until I accidentally killed him with my lawnmower. Steve was my top slug, closest friend and the one that I could recite my poetry to during all hours of the night. Once he listened to me for 36 hours straight and only fell asleep 28 times. He was an extremely loyal slug, standing side by side with me through thick and thin and helping me to uncover the coup that Clyde the Slug was planning. He may not have had any special skills or superpowers, except for the normal slug traits of creating slime and being able to break into shopping centres, but he had the most important things. Patience, trust, love and loyalty. How I regret choosing to mow the lawn that day, having been up all night consuming vast quantities of my patented noggin rocker. Slug Fact Slugs have been around for millions of years. Bob the Slug Bob the Slug was very similar to Steve the Slug in many ways. He always listened to me, was trustworthy and very loyal. However, he was much more of a military slug and a somewhat kamikaze one as he was always willing to put his body on the line. He didn't seem to fear anything. Bob the Slug once went skydiving without a parachute. He hadn't intended to go skydiving. I had accidentally bumped into him and he fell out of the plane. No idea how he survived. At least, Bob didn't appear to show any fear and certainly never questioned the safety aspect when I stuck miniature sticks of dynamite on his back. In fact, that's how he met his end, carrying a powerful little bomb that accidentally went off too early resulting in him having quite a number of final resting places. Slug Fact Slugs are cold-blooded. Gino the Slug Having such a muscular, well-rounded figure as mine requires a special kind of diet, and luckily I have the best slug chef in the whole world. Gino the Slug first came to me a few years ago when one day he turned up on my doorstep. He knew that I employed a number of slugs and so hoped to get a job. At the specific moment he was on my doorstep, I was about to fetch my newspaper and almost trod on him. After scolding him and telling him to never just wait around on people's doorsteps, I hired him and set him to work in the kitchen. As you can guess by his name, Gino the slug is Italian and therefore tends to favour Italian cuisine. For example, spaghetti slugganese, slug balls and spaghetti, spaghetti slugganara, slagagna, grilled slug with pesto. He can do it all. It does tend to get a bit boring sometimes, so I do ask for a bit more variety. Being Italian, he can be quite an angry, passionate little slug, and therefore gets upset if I tell him what to cook, and starts flinging slime everywhere. At which point, I pick him up and dangle him over a jar of salt. He soon gives in and goes back to being the obedient slug I require. Still, his slugger mizu is to die for. Slug fact. Salt sucks slugs dry. Slug recipe number one. Slug pie. Ingredients. Handful of reluctant slugs. Rolled pastry. Half an onion, diced. One peeled potato, roughly chopped.